I promised that I would treat indiv every individual that came before the bench with dignity and respect. And I promised that I would never let the scales of justice be unjustly swayed. That is what I believe. Those are the principles that I believe. I believe that government is of the people, by the people, and for the people. Those are the great principles of this country. I want to continue dispensing justice with fairness, integrity, and righteousness. Ladies and gentlemen, today I give you a new set of promises as your, as you, as your district attorney. I promise that I will not let politics take precedence over impartiality. I promise the citizens that I will not use power to influence justice for some. I promise that I will not use fear to intimidate and silence those who are not in political favor. Again, I ask for your support, Ricardo Rodriguez for District Attorney. Thank you, Mr. Rodriguez. And now the incumbent, Rene Guerra, your introduction, one minute, 30 seconds. Good evening, uh, fellow citizens uh, maybe watching the program. I want to thank Channel 4 and the sponsors for allowing us to come before all those people that are viewing us that may still have a question as to who they will be voting for this very important race of district attorney. My prior life has been blessed with some ups and downs, hardships and what have you. I grew up in Edinburgh from, with a humble family like a lot of us uh, here in the audience and elsewhere that are view viewing. I used uh, those obstacles and those hardships to season me into a life of, I believe, uh, opportunity that was given to me by living in the United States. I grew up uh, in Edinburgh, graduated from the Ed Edinburgh schools, and I went on to Pan American College. With that college education, I was uh, offered a, an officer candidacy course, uh, and I became a U.S. Army military intelligence officer. After that, with my GI Bill, I took that opportunity and went to the University of Texas Law School. With that education and passing the state bar, I came to Edinburgh to start my life as a, as a professional lawyer. I worked a year and a half for two years as a private lawyer. I joined the DA's office in 1977, and from then on I've been in the DA's office total 33 years uh, uh, in my life. I'm dedicated to protecting the public, and that's what I offer you in the next four years. Thank you. Thank you to both candidates for the introduction and the opening remarks. And we want to welcome our viewers on ValleyCentral.com and also listening in on KURV Radio, News Talk 710, and of course, Action 4 News for this special edition of Action 4 News at 6. Let's begin with the question portion of this political forum. We're going to begin first with Rene Guerra, based on alphabetical order. Your question, sir, is this. A number of politicanos have been indicted in federal court for alleged vote buying, including one who recently admitted to doing it. Are politicanos part of your campaign, sir? No, sir. I'm uh, not paying people to carry people to the, to the polls. Um, I do know that there's some candidates uh, that are hiring contract workers to uh, carry people to the votes. And I may be in those uh, lists of slates, uh, as you may have them in certain portions of the county. I personally have never tried uh, to really uh, pay people to carry people to the votes because, first, I don't know that they're really going to carry out what they say. And oftentimes, if you pay the wrong person, they, you may be paying your opponent uh, to carry uh, his votes, and you not know it. I've always been the lower funded uh, candidate. I try to not uh, solicit too many donations where I would, I would, you know, uh, it would taint my decision making later on should I be elected. I was fortunate to be elected in 82, and I've been holding the post since then for 31 years and asking for four more. Okay. Thank you. Ricardo Rodriguez, same question to you, sir. It's a big county. It's a million people who live in this county, and we've used many individuals to work this campaign. Uh, believe we have more volunteers and campaign workers on this campaign. These campaign workers spread the word out for us, block walk for us, do a lot of things that the candidate himself can't do because it's such a large county. As long as these campaign workers are following the law and not breaking the law, not forcing anyone to vote any other way or bribing anyone, then that's what they should respect and that's nobody should be doing that. But we have a lot of volunteer workers that outnumber our campaign workers. But these campaign workers have been used for many, many years by many, many candidates and many, many public officials. So we need to make sure that, again, these campaign workers just follow the law, are not bribing anyone for any votes, are not forcing anyone to go out and vote. 
just to, for clarification purposes for people watching at home to answer the question directly are politicados part of your campaign yes or no i have campaign workers that are working for my campaign next question steve taylor with the rio grand guardian and this is on the same theme actually uh, today was the first day of early voting and there was an incident at the pepe selena civic center in far today one of the candidates was upset with your actions renee guerra were you playing politics today? No, sir. Um, I received a complaint that in the Pepe Salinas uh, Civic Center, you have one portion where, where we're conducting this very important election. In the other portion of, the, uh, of the, that dual facility, they were bringing in uh, uh, daycare uh, clients on a promotion of some uh, hospice or some uh, 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 you know, program. And I got wind that perhaps one of the candidates for office was sponsoring that dance and because there's music and they might have, I don't know if they were, secu they were going to secure food for the, for, the, uh, for the participants. And because it's within, uh, within 100 feet of the polling place, I took it upon myself to go over there and ask them to stop that dance because one, it was going to distract the uh, voting uh, next door with the loud music. And second, if anybody was solicited to vote there within 100 feet, they would be in violation of the election law. And that's what I tried to stop. I left, I don't know if uh, the dance was stopped, but I asked them not to. I made some calls to some uh, daycare center operators that I know that are friends of mine that are supporting me, and I asked them to please not send those clients there because I didn't want them to be in the middle of an investigation later on. And uh, a reply also from you, Ricardo Rodriguez, were voted, was the vote suppressed in FAR today as a result of the district attorney's actions? Uh, just like Mr. Guerra got a call as to a complaint, I got a call myself that uh, some candidates felt that there was threats that were being made out there. Uh, but again, this is what, what they were telling me. Uh, could be speculation, could be what they wanted to say, but uh, as to the incident that was going on in FAR, that's, that's the only information that I got. Okay, thank you for that. Our next question, Sergio Sanchez with KURV Radio. Some of the activities by, by the Politiqueras many times seem to straddle the fence, and it's very gray and where they may be breaking the law. And in light of the prosecutions that we were talking about earlier, do you believe that the state of Texas should do more to regulate Politiqueras? Uh, Rene Guerra. Um, I believe the biggest danger that we have or the paid contract workers that are now assisting, in some cases, several hundred voters with no supervision from the uh, people that operate the election or that carry on the election. I believe that a lot of uh, disabled individuals are being assisted on curbside where the judge and other people cannot observe whether the person who's uh, assisting them is actually voting that vote for a disabled individual. Now, with the on onslaught of dementia and, and other mental disabilities, I believe that some contract workers, politicaras, if some people want to call them, I just call them contract workers or polit political operatives, are, are going to be tempted to deliver votes for per, per individual, $10, $15, whatever is the going price uh, by some candidates. I think that big temptation needs to be looked at at the ne next legislative session to stop it. I don't believe that people should be taken advantage of, especially when it, they're exercising their voice and in what kind of government they want to sit uh, for this county and for the state. I believe that contract workers sometimes are going to be tempted and they're going to break the law and then I'm in the middle of, middle of an investigation that's going to be deemed political. Thank you. Same question to you, Mr. Rodriguez. In light of the prosecutions uh, taking place right now for, with the Politiqueta, should the state of Texas do more to regulate them? I think the state should do more to regulate uh, camping workers, contract workers, Politiqueta. Um, because, like I said, in many, they've been used for many, many years by many, many candidates, many, many individuals. Uh, today, you know, public officials who are presiding uh, in many positions. Uh, and. It's, it, it's difficult uh, because I, I know that Mr. Guerra has, has indicted, you know, some uh, politiqueros in the past and uh, has dismissed some as well uh, once the indictment or the case has been pending. Uh, so it could, it, it's a gray area. However, uh, we just need to make sure again that uh, these contract workers, camping workers are, are following the law and they're not forcing anyone 
uh, uh, to vote, you know, uh, otherwise not their choice or be, or be bribed to vote in some, some other manner. You might be placed in a very curious position in the event that you have hired police together for this campaign, and in the event that any of them did break the law, and let's say, let's say that you become district attorney, mm -hmm. would you be prosecuting yes. those police Yes, we will prosecute them. Right. If, they're, if they're breaking the law and they're not following it, that's, that's our job. We have to enforce the law. We have to enforce the law. If, if, if there's been someone who has uh, broken a law that's out there and they come before the court, uh, and, and the elements are met as to the crime, yes, we would enforce it and prosecute. Renee, you have an opportunity. Would you like to say anything? Um, not to be mean and not to uh, demean my opponent in any way. I believe he's hired something like upwards of 50 contract workers at the initial cost of about $57,000. Okay. I believe one individual is paid $5,300, while others are paid $100 and $200. I don't know why any one political worker is worth $5,000. Maybe that person has been on the job for several weeks. I just believe that those are things that we need to try to avoid because the temptation for illegal uh, under, uh, under uh, doings is, is there, and we need to stop it. I'll tell you what, we're going to stop right there. We are just getting started. Things are going to certainly get more interesting as we continue in this special hour. Our coverage, Political Forum, we're talking to the candidates for Davo County District Attorney. This is a race to watch. Don't go anywhere. We're back after this. You're watching a special edition of Action 4 News Campaign 2014. Your voice, your vote. Political Candidates Forum. This is a special edition of Action 4 News Campaign 2014. Your voice, your vote. Brought to you by Citizens Against Lawsuit Abuse. Citizens Against Lawsuit Abuse encourages you to make your voice heard. Vote. For more information, visit our website at www.rgvkayla.com. Remember, one vote can make a difference. When you put your heart into something, it's nice to be recognized as one of the best. Harlingen Medical Center was recently awarded the highest national rating a hospital can achieve for cardiovascular surgery and clinical excellence. Plus, we're the only hospital in South Texas to achieve it. That says a lot about our heart team, our people, and our commitment to providing our patients the best cardiac care possible. We're Harlingen Medical Center. When it comes to your heart, you'll want to come here. In Washington, the game is fixed. Corporations and the super-rich have rigged the system and use our tax dollars to subsidize Wall Street. Democrat David Alamil says it's time to fight back. Make corporations pay their fair share of taxes. Don't bail out crooked bankers. Throw them in jail. Invest in jobs and schools. Helping families and protecting Social Security. We need an economy that helps all Americans, not just a few. I'm Democrat David Alamil, and I approve this message. The only place to get a real deal is from the real Don Johnson Motors Brown. Right now, get a $3,000 rebate on a new 14 Dodge Avenger and a $2,750 rebate on a new Dodge Journey. If you want to get a real deal, come to the real Don Johnson Motors Brown. You're watching a special edition of Action 4 News Campaign 2014. Your voice, your vote. Political Candidates Forum. Welcome back to the Mayor Joe V. Sanchez Public Library here in the beautiful city of Westaco. You're watching our special coverage of the Hidalgo County District Attorney's Race here on Action 4 News, valleycentral.com, and KURV Radio 710. We appreciate everybody who's participating via Twitter using the hashtag RGVote. And a reminder that the polls are open until 7 o'clock tonight, early voting underway, leading up to the March primary elections. Our next question is going to go to Steve Taylor with the Rio Grande Guardian. And this question will start with you, Ricardo Rodriguez. We've heard from many Hidalgo County voters, and they're concerned, particularly concerned about violent crime, gang activity, and drugs. What is your strategy to curtail this problem? One of my plans is <clears throat> to make sure that we strengthen our relationship with law enforcement, uh, to make sure that we help them uh, investigate and work their cases. That way they can present a strong case to the district attorney's office. And what I suggested is, and what I want to do is, I want to create a 24-hour hotline where we have some prosecutors who are available uh, to help these law enforcement officers, you know, draw up search warrants, uh, investigate, and help them build up the case. I think if we have that strong relationship with law enforcement, 
Uh, we'll be, a be able to tackle uh, the violent crimes that are occurring here in Hidalgo County. And of course, we want uh, the citizens to know that the DA's office will protect uh, the citizens of any violent crimes and are ready to prosecute uh, and go forward on any crimes that uh, affect uh, any, any victims out there. Thank you. Renee Guerra? Yes, sir. <clears throat> Since I've been in office uh, for the last 31 years, early on, I let uh, police departments have my, my cell number, my telephone number, and my prosecutors, the ones that deal with grand jury investigations, and some of the uh, more seasoned prosecutors, their phone numbers for contacting them in case they needed them for search warrants and, and what have you. Uh, we don't need to create a hotline. When you create a hotline, you have to man it. You have to pay for that extra uh, uh, labor and, and, and service. We have it already in place. Now, we help with search warrants. We help with uh, uh, drawing complaints. Uh, our office has always been law enforcement minded, always, always support minded, and we've been doing it. We don't have to reinvent the wheel as far as that is concerned. Now, we don't call it something that would play in the media like a hotline or stuff like that. We just do the work day in and day out. I have a good relationship with all law enforcement agencies. We support them with assets that are seized from the Haida Task Force where we don't need them uh, for DA operations. Uh, we support them sometimes monetarily when we seize uh, uh, drug assets, uh, money assets. Now, we're doing this day in and day out. I don't need the glory lines. Uh, I don't need the headlines that I'm doing this and that. That's part of my service that I, that I, that I render. Thank you. We're now gonna turn it over to Sergio Sanchez with KURV Radio. In Cameron County, a state district judge, a district attorney, and several well-known attorneys, they were convicted in a cash for favor scheme. How can you reassure the voters in Hidalgo County that this type of corruption will not happen in your office if elected, Ricardo Rodriguez? Again, we need to make sure that, and, and I've talked about this in every debate and, and every question, uh, this question has been asked in every debate and obviously because it's an important question uh, to the citizens of this county and an important issue. But all along I've talked about uh, making sure that we have a strong public integrity division uh, that works well uh, with all law enforcement to end corruption. Uh, the question's been asked every, just about every debate and I brought up the issue and, and have said that it's important that we have this division uh, created. Uh, obviously the citizens of this county are concerned. Um, but what Mr. Guerra has always said is that uh, we don't have any money, we can't budget for it, you know, I, I run a, a tight ship, um, uh, and uh, almost to where we can't afford it. He's talked about having some investigators there, uh, but we have to have the presence of this division there at the DA's office uh, to make sure that uh, anyone uh, who, who who thinks about uh, breaking the law or uh, creating any kind of corruption that we know that we have the presence there at the public division at the DA's office. Mr. Guerra. Uh, the question was, how do you... What reassurance can you give the voters that office, yeah, this type of corruption that we've seen in Cameron County is not going to take yes. place in, in your well, office? I've been in office for 31 years. And I know that people that have gone after me politically have taken me before grand juries. I know I've, I've, I've been the subject of a couple of grand jury investigations that were politically motivated and what have you. Now, in the 31 years, I dare anybody to swear out a complaint that in any way I have had a corrupt practice or act. Uh, all, and, and together with the two years as an assistant and nine months as an acting district attorney. Now, it is easy again to play to the headlines that are on the paper right now about corruption in the border, about a third world country, according to uh, uh, our attorney general, who has, is misguided in characterizing the valley in being a poverty stricken in some areas, third world country. That is unfair. You have a lot of good, solid working individuals that are doing their job day in and day out. Now, for somebody to create an integrity unit and to have lawyers sitting around waiting for complaints to come before them, I think it's wasteful. I already have uh, three seasoned veterans in the, in the grand jury section that handle those complaints that are forwarded to us. 
All the other complaints need to be investigated at the local level, which would be the sheriff, the rangers, DPS, DEA, uh, ATF, all those alphabet uh, agencies are there to have seasoned professionals with accountants to investigate corruption. Cameron County is not in Hidalgo County, and we will stop any attempt to, to, to have that happen here. Thanks to both the candidates. Well, a well-known person who fell from grace in Hidalgo County pops into our next round of questions, and that's coming up right after this short break. Stay with us. You're watching Action 4 News, a political forum for the Hidalgo <laughs> County District Attorney candidates. More after this. You're watching a special edition of Action 4 News Campaign 2014. Your voice, your vote. Political Candidates Forum. We're celebrating President's Day all month long here at Real Motor Company in River and City. Hi, I'm Billy Canales, inviting you to come get some great presidential deals through the end of the month. We have President's Day cash, factory rebates, and big discounts on both Chevy and GMC in one convenient location, Real Motors. Get the 2014 Chevy Tahoe for only $33,995 and save up to $8,600. Come to our President's Day sale right now and come home to Real Motor Company in Rio Grande City. Everybody knows that Hacienda Ford in Edinburgh has the best deals on wheels. And right now during Truck Month, you'll get even bigger and better deals than ever before. Like 2014 Ford Fusions for an unbelievably low $18,888. Or take your pick for 2014 Ford Taurus or Ford Escape and pay just $19,888. So join the stampede and get to Hacienda Ford and take advantage of 0% financing. And get top value for your trade at the RGV Truck Superstore. Hacienda Ford, Edinburgh. You're watching a special edition of Action 4 News Campaign 2014. Your voice, your vote. Political Candidates Forum. You're joining us live from the Mayor Joe V. Sanchez Public Library here in the beautiful city of Wessico for our political forum, the Hidalgo County District Attorney race. Candidates are here. And our next question from Sergio Sanchez. This question for Rene Guetta. In Hidalgo County, former Commissioner Sylvia Handy uh, was indicted and convicted for wrongdoing by the feds. And in light of that, and as you may remember, your office also pursued state charges. And why, Mr. Guetta, did you not pursue charges in the Panama unit case after the feds uh, were, were prosecuting that case? If, if the complaint had come to me about the Panama unit, which it did not, it was a federal investigation, if I launch a concurrent investigation into their investigation, I would have fallen right in the middle of a federal investigation and might have even been accused of trying to thwart the investigation or trying to hinder the investigation. Now, when the, that unit went corrupt, unbeknownst to a lot of people in law enforcement in my office, there's no way that I could have said, okay, I'm going to go investigate not having one witnesses come before me or before a grand jury or before an investigating body like the Rangers or somebody else. Now, you have to be careful when you set out to investigate. It has always been the law that if a, a citizen or agency or any individual wants to uh, accuse somebody of a crime, they have to swear out a complaint. They have to swear out an affidavit saying, I saw this person do this and, uh, or do that. Now, as a district attorney, for me to launch investigations without any what evidence whatsoever uh, would be uh, chasing windmills, and like I said before. I was not going to go into uh, that investigation of the federal government because, one, I could have hindered it. Uh, and you're not going to get anything from those victims, which are ex-drug dealers or drug dealers that, are, that were being the victims of the Panama unit. It would be foolish for anybody to do that. Now that the federal case is now done, um, would you pursue this case um, if somebody complained? It, well, if somebody complains to me, uh, the question here is who is the victim? Are they true victims? Are they going to answer the questions that I'm going to ask them? What was stolen from you by the Panama unit? Was it $100,000 or $200,000? And by the way, how did you get that money? Uh, I don't think those people are going to answer those questions and incriminate themselves on a major criminal conspiracy where I might have to file the charge against the victim. Given the same circumstances, Mr. Ricardo Rodriguez, would you, would you bring state charges after the feds finish their case? Mr. Guerra had several cases in his office that dealt with the Panama unit. I wouldn't have dismissed them as quickly as Mr. Guerra dismissed the cases. I would have held on to them. When he talks about victims being thugs, drug dealers, gang members, the victims here are the citizens of this county. 
those are the victims. Because during these um, events that Panama was in, involved in, uh, they were using government resources, county resources, county vehicles. You know, those are things that we have to take a look at. And uh, now that the, you know the case is done in in in, in federal court, uh, why not? Why not look at those cases, just just like the Sylvia Handy case, you know, and, and look at uh, what what is there. And again, I, I would have held on to the cases. I wouldn't have dismissed them as quickly as Mr. Guerra dismissed them. Mr. Guetta, there are no cases related to the Panama Panama unit in your in your office, right? There was no investigation well, whatsoever. First, the Panama unit arrested many individuals, and those cases were pending in my office. Now, when these rogue cops go dirty, if I present those cases to a grand jury and indict them and take those individuals into court, what am I going to rely on? I'm going to have to rely on lying officers, corrupt officers. That's what I dismissed. No, understood. I didn't but dismiss cases against victims or anybody who was investigated because okay. there were no investigations as to alleged victims. So my, my opponent is, is dead wrong in his perceptions of what he would have done. Corruption, certainly a big topic and one we will come back to as we continue in this hour-long special for our political forum. It's the Adago County District Attorney's Race, a big one. More right after this. You're watching a special edition of Action 4 News Campaign 2014. Your voice, your vote. Political Candidates Forum. Teamwork is the key to the success for any business. At Cardinals Metroplex, we believe in teamwork. From our experienced and knowledgeable sales staff to our highly qualified and dedicated service department, we go the extra mile for our customers. By working together, we're able to offer them a better, more enjoyable car buying experience. When you're ready for your new Mercedes-Benz, come experience the new Cardinals Metroplex. Continuing our commitment of offering luxurious automobiles and superb customer service. That's our promise to you, Cardinals Metroplex, Harlingen. The District Courts of Cameron County assume critical roles in the administration of justice. I offer the opportunities of a fresh new start for Cameron County, free of negative publicity and associations, to restore integrity, justice, and fairness, and to provide a specialized family law court. I humbly ask for your vote to become your next judge of the 357th Judicial District Court. Thank you for listening. You're watching a special edition of Action 4 News Campaign 2014. Your voice, your vote. Political Candidates Forum. Welcome back. Political coverage right now. Political Forum, District Attorney's Race, Ididago County. We have a quick fire question that's going to go first to Renee Gatta. Renee Gatta, the question is this for the quick fire. Why is Ricardo Rodriguez not qualified for the job? No, oh, under the law, he's qualified to run. He lacks experience in prosecution, never having presented a case as a prosecutor. It's easy to hear cases where lawyers come before you and give you decisions and, and through mediation and, and, and plea bargaining. But to actually put a case together takes seasoning, takes experience, and, and takes uh, time in, in, in the arena. It's not easy to put cases together when you have half investigations you have to finish those investigations, and if you don't know how to do it, you won't be able to be successful in the courtroom. Now, my opponent is qualified to run for office. Yes, he is. He was qualified to run for judge. The problem here is his lack of experience in enforcing the law. Thank you for that. Quick fire question for Ricardo Rodriguez. Again, same 45 seconds. Ms. Aguera has led the DA's office for three decades, you have heard. Should there be term limits? Up to a certain point, yes, there should be term limits, especially in the district attorney's office. There should be term limits. When someone becomes complacent uh, and doesn't want to move forward with different uh, procedures, uh, different uh, implementations in the DA's office, uh, yes, in this position, there should be uh, term limits. I see both candidates chomping at the bit at times. You'll be able to uh, say whatever you would like in the closing argument. So. Just take little notes. I'm sure we'll hear some of these topics again. We want to remind everybody that uh, we have early voting that is underway right now. Polls closed 7 o'clock tonight and continue as we head to the March primaries. It's so important to exercise your, right to exercise your right to vote, which is why we're here today to arm you with the information as you do head to the polls. And our thanks to people participating on Twitter. Use the hashtag RGVote. 
Uh, thanks again to those listening on valleycentral.com and KURV Radio. We'll continue right here in Action 4 News right after this short break. You're watching a special edition of Action 4 News Campaign 2014. Your voice, your vote. Political Candidates Forum. This is a special edition of Action 4 News Campaign 2014. Your voice, your vote. Brought to you by Citizens Against Lawsuit Abuse. Citizens Against Lawsuit Abuse encourages you to make your voice heard. Vote. For more information, visit our website at www.rgvkayla.com. Remember, one vote can make a difference. Tipton Hyundai isn't just about great gas mileage and America's best warranty. We're about compact cars, sports cars, SUVs, crossovers, and luxury vehicles. And get deals like a 2014 Elantra for $159 per month with 38 MPG and class-leading interior space. Then there's a 2014 Sonata for $179 per month with 190 horsepower and up to 35 MPG. Shop TiptonHyundai.com now and see why Hyundai is leaving the competition behind. I drive a Hyundai and I love it and so will you. Siempre Tipton Hyundai. You're watching a special edition of Action 4 News Campaign 2014. Your voice, your vote. Political Candidates Forum. Welcome back to the Mayor Jovi Sanchez Public Library here in Westico for our special political forum coverage. Steve, with the Rio Grande Guardian, has our next quick fire question. Quick fire question, so only 45 seconds to answer this. We'll start with you, Ricardo Rodriguez. It's one of the concerns we've heard with so many members of your family being in office, your family's making a takeover bid for Hidalgo County. Your response? I'm, I'm proud of my family uh, for getting educated, uh, for having good jobs. Uh, you know, in the past, there used to be that one didn't get educated, one didn't have a good job, uh, one didn't have an opportunity to maybe run for public office. My, all my family members have done very well. Uh, they've gotten educated. Uh, I think uh, my sister's been investigated more than the Panama unit as to where she works and, and what, how much money she makes. Uh, but I'm very proud of my family. They've done, they've done very well. Your response, Rene Guerra. Well, it's not a question of somebody being investigated. I don't know that his sister has been investigated. My concern is that my opponent resigned as as, as judge. And two days later, he got hired by the Austin law firm of O'Hanlon in Rodriguez, where his sister is a partner. He hasn't been to one of the school district meetings, and he's a paid member of that law firm. They control the Edinburgh School Board four to three. They hand out contracts. They are getting paid $276,000 a year. And I don't think they're required to represent the school district in court. If I'm wrong, I'm sure that they can step to the plate and, and correct me. But it's a question of influence. It's a question of influence. And if people are influenced easily through money, then things will go wrong. Is there anything, Rick, that you just heard, Ricardo, that you would like to rebut? But we, I do different work for, I, I do work for Westlaco, I do work for Hidalgo, I do work for Monte Alto. I don't do work for Edinburgh. Uh, but it, it's something that we've earned, you know, it's not politics. Uh, it's, like, it's like me saying, you know, Mr. Guerra, uh, hasn't investigated the sheriff's department because he's close friends to Lupe Trino. You know, uh, there's there's nothing illegal about working with a firm, uh, a firm hiring you to do work. Nothing whatsoever. Thank you for that. Sergio Sanchez is up next with KURV Radio with another quick fire question. Well, some folks who go through the legal system might feel that they are victimized twice. And my question: Does more need to be done for crime victims, Rene Guerra? Yes, I'm sure that. It would be uh, nice to have a, um, a crime victim contacted almost on a weekly basis when they're calling our office. But when you handle close to 20,000 cases a, a year with 59 lawyers and about four investigators, it's diff difficult to carry out that service. But my secretaries that are dedicated to each court make a, a, a daily attempt to contact victims when they're necessary for court proceedings. We don't need more crime victims uh, assistance. Uh, what we have, what we need is, is speedier cases going through the courts where we can bring the victims into the courtroom to testify. I cannot force judges to set, to make settings like my opponent is proposing in his Sunday article. Rick. By law, we have to have a crime victim assistance program. And from, from, from what I've learned is 
we don't have a, we don't have a crime vi victim assistance program in the DA's office. From what I've learned is that we lost a grant that was given to us, and by law we have to have a victim assistance program, and we haven't had it. And it's 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 unfortunately because uh, these victims are lost uh, when they're uh, part or victims of the crime, and they have no guidance. I know Mr. Guerra uses uh, staff to help these victims, but uh, prosecutors are busy working on the case, so we should have a coordinator or two that uh, should be responsible for these crime victims, just like the code uh, says that we should. We still have a lot to learn and a lot to hear from the candidates for the district attorney's race in Hidalgo County. Stay with us. You're watching Action 4 News, a special Action 4 News edition at 6, our political forum coverage. You're watching a special edition of Action 4 News Campaign 2014. Your voice, your vote. Political Candidates Forum. I think something is wrong with my car. It's acting funny. Think service. Think Pueblo. But it's making a funny noise. Think service. Think Pueblo. The steering wheel vibrates when I'm driving. Think tires. Think Pueblo. But I think it's due for an oil change. Go to shampoosing.com. That's right, folks. Just go to shampoosing.com. Look for our coupons. Tires. Think Pueblo. They call this the Magic Valley because what grows here grows in abundance. And when joined together, the fruits of our labor are endless from one generation to the next. It is that shared heritage that bonds us all together. And because of that, the Valley will continue to thrive together as neighbors, as a community, and as one family. Magic Valley Electric is proud to be part of that family. Magic Valley Electric Cooperative, empowering you, empowering your community. It's truck time. The Valley truck commanders are demanding lower prices. It's truck month at Payne West Nico Chevrolet. Choose from over 600 vehicles and get the biggest rebates of the season. Only $29,995 for a 2014 Chevy Silverado four-door double cab Texas edition. Plus, get a two-year free scheduled maintenance plan. Check out our truck headquarters for the best deals, period. We have what you want. Look at who get us regardless. You're watching a special edition of Action 4 News Campaign 2014. Your voice, your vote. Political Candidates Forum. Welcome back to the city of Westlaco for our coverage of the Hidalgo County District Attorney's Race. We are online, on the air, and on the radio. Thanks to our partner with KURV Radio. Steve Taylor has the next question. This one's for you, Ricardo Rodriguez. Wage theft is an issue across the Rio Grande Valley. Companies, both big and small, have been known to take advantage of workers by underpaying them or not paying them at all for their services. Do you think enough has been done to send a message to corporations and the mom and pop businesses? I think we have to do more. I, myself, and my family are victims of wage theft growing up and working in the fields. However, at that time, we didn't have time or uh, efforts to make a complaint to the police department or file charges. I think what we have to do, like I said it before, uh, we have to get together with law enforcement and make sure uh, that the law enforcement is working these cases properly. Uh, I know that they're very busy and they have a big caseload. Uh, and sometimes it's easy to uh, have these cases uh, turned over to uh, a JP court as a civil case. Uh, but. Uh, I, I believe a lot of these cases are criminal, uh, and if they meet the elements of the wage theft, uh, then I'm a big advocate that we should take a look at them, and if there's an arrest uh, as to wage theft, we should proceed forward with prosecution. And Renee Guerra, have you done enough on wage theft? I've done everything that I possibly uh, could when I received a complaint that somebody has been abused as far as uh, labor theft. Now. These cases are not difficult to conduct. What's difficult is to gather the documentation that somebody actually worked the hours and was cheated out of that labor. All they need to do is really take affidavits of the people that are alleging that they were, that their labor was stolen, that their service was stolen. It's a criminal case. It's nothing that needs a lot of special training. It can be done at the police department level. It can be done at the sheriff's office. It can, done, it can be done in my office where the appropriate person steps up and causes the investigation to be conducted if he has been thwarted at the uh, police department level. 
the other day at a at a forum with the uh, with the uh, I believe the Valiner Faith. Somebody from voice. the audience. Huh? It was the RGV Equal oh, okay, Voice I'm Network. Sorry. They said that they had 400 documented cases of, of wage theft. That was the first time that I had heard that. Nobody brought those cases to our attention because if they have them right now and they're within two years in misdemeanor amounts or five years in felony amounts, we can look at them. But nobody has, has stepped forward to my office to bring those to my attention. And if nobody steps forward, there's no way I can read somebody else's mind. The unfortunate thing is a lot of people don't know procedure and don't reach out to our office for a second opinion. Well, we've got certainly more heated topics still to come, plus closing remarks. Stay right there. You're watching Action 4 News. We'll be right back. You're watching a special edition of Action 4 News Campaign 2014. Your voice, your vote. Political Candidates Forum. Declare your freedom of choice at Lax President's Day Sale. Save an extra 20% off the sale price for cash. Or no interest for 24 months with 15% off. Or no interest for 36 months with 10% off. Only at Lax. The Burdock and Megaplex has mega savings on your next new Chevy. That's right. Come see us at the Burdock and Chevrolet Mission and choose from the biggest selection of Chevys in the Valley. Drive a 2014 Silverado Crew Cab with free scheduled maintenance plan and save up to $9,000 during Chevy's President's Day Sale. Get mega savings at the Megaplex on Bryan Road and Expressway 83 in Mission at Burdock and Chevrolet. Go for it. What? Chevy! CBS Tonight. My favorite TV shows are on Tuesdays. America's favorite agents. Tony Dinozo, friend of the ladies. Are on the case. It's really great work. Just because I make it look easy doesn't mean it is. CYNCIS is TV's number one show. I'm impressed. Yep, 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 yep. You're not going to believe this. <laughs> Back to work. I like to live dangerously. NCIS, CBS Tonight. At Lux President's Day Sale, your family will love this motion living room with dual reclining sofa and love seats for just $18.99. The elegant Villa Veneto Entertainment Center is only $38.99. Plus, save an extra 20% for cash at Lux. You're watching a special edition of Action 4 News Campaign 2014. Your voice, your vote. Political Candidates Forum. We welcome our viewers back on Action 4 News, ValleyCentral.com, and KURV Radio. Our next question for Ricardo Rodriguez. Rick, you've been quoted as saying that you want to do more to help individuals who have a mistake and get them back on track, who made a mistake and you know, want to get them back on track. What do you plan to do that's different? Compassion is not a sign of weakness. I was the overseer at Joe Court for five and a half years uh, while I presided, presided over the 92nd District Court bench. It was a great program. Uh, where individuals were given the opportunity who were first-time felony offenders, drug offenders, on non-violent crimes. And they were given this opportunity uh, to at dismiss, have their case dismissed after uh, 18 months on the program. And they went through a variety of conditions with probation department, counseling, uh, and it was a great program. It gave them an, an opportunity to uh, get their life back on track, have their case dismissed, and not have a conviction on the record when, when they would go look for a job uh, or uh, uh, want to go back to school. Uh, so it helped out a lot. I think it, that if you, if you pay close attention to particular cases where they're nonviolent offenses, uh, first time offenders, uh, of course there's a lot of uh, programs already available, but if, if, if you give each person uh, the opportunity equally uh, to have an opportunity to have their case dismissed after a certain program, then I do believe in second chances on uh, some of these cases that come before or came before the court and come before the district attorney's office. Mr. Garrett, the question for you is, is what he's preparing or proposing feasible or is it already in place? Um, what my worthy opponent uh, fails to point out is I exercise the compassion in establishing these programs. Without my buying into the program, there would be no compassion for anybody who's a low-level offender or somebody who deserves a break. Repeat offenders that he speaks about is a special program that I had to buy in to uh, pull the punches, so to speak. Uh, it was through my exercise of discretion that these people were given a second chance. It wasn't him as a judge or other judges. 
the prosecution has the right to file charges and to bring them to court. Now, if I want to defer the proceedings, then I have to establish and buy into the program where these people plead guilty or give them pretrial diversion. And if they successfully complete the 18 months or the two years that we have in these various programs, then the case is dismissed under my authority and the judge's signature. Now, these programs do not, uh, are not created in midair. These have to be created through the authority of the state, through the prosecutor, and that's what I've done. Thank you so much. We're getting very close to the all-important closing remarks. And we've got one more question. Stay with us. You're watching Action 4 News, our special political forum coverage of the Hidalgo County District Attorney's race. More after this. You're watching a special edition of Action 4 News Campaign 2014. Your voice, your vote. Political Candidates Forum. This is a special edition of Action 4 News Campaign 2014. Your voice, your vote. Brought to you by Citizens Against Lawsuit Abuse. Citizens Against Lawsuit Abuse encourages you to make your voice heard. Vote. For more information, visit our website at www.rgvkayla.com. Remember, one vote can make a difference. It's Ram Truck Month, and one thing Texas knows is that it takes a modern marvel to make one. Trucks with the best towing. Three and a half tons more than the competition. The best torque. The best payload. The best fuel economy. And back-to-back -back Motor Trend Truck of the Year awards. Get a great deal during Ram Truck Month. Get 7,200 in total values on the new 2014 Ram 1500 Lone Star Crew Cab. Motor Trend's Truck of the Year. It's Craig's Furniture's one half price sale. It's the biggest discount of the season. The entire inventory at Craig's Furniture is one half price. Divided by two or cut it in half. Nothing held back. One half price. Only at Craig's Furniture, Harlingen, in Westlake. You're watching a special edition of Action 4 News Campaign 2014. Your voice, your vote. Political Candidates Forum. Gentlemen, we understand that both camps have some negative campaign ads on standby. And the question is, is negative campaigning needed to win? And if indeed you do have that negative campaign ammo on standby, would you care to share some of that this evening to give us some juicy audio? Uh, Rene Guerra, you first. No. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I don't believe in negative campaigning. I don't believe in, in going out, and I've never believed in it, in going and saying untruths against my opponent. I have never done that. I've always tried to speak on the record. And if you go back in my history of my campaigning, I've been subjected to a lot of lies that people just set out there to see if they could curry favor with the voters. Uh, I'll give you an example. My opponent in, in the uh, Ron Whitlock uh, reports uh, interview, he said that I've never been aud audited for 31 years. That would be a crime if, if I hadn't been audited when I've handled over $35 million in, in public monies and victims' monies through hot checks. Now, from my perspective, you know, it, it's easy to say a whole bunch of things about one, each, uh, one another. But I don't believe that it is right to go out and say things as a lawyer that you cannot prove. I can't convict people with rumors. I can't convict people with untruths. I have to put it on the, on the table before judges and juries every day, day in and day out. And that's what I get paid to do through my 59 lawyers and all investigators and support staff. We have done that. For 31 years as an elected official, we will continue to do it. And I believe that if my opponent gets negative, I'm sure that I may be tempted not to hold back. On truths and negative campaigning is one thing, but what if the, the uh, material that is brought in an ad is truthful but very, very painful? Ricky Rodriguez, is negative campaigning necessary to win? Last time I campaigned, I ran a positive clean campaign. Uh, after receiving negative ads against me, um, and I stayed positive, uh, and that's the way we've 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 handled this this campaign. We've tried to stay positive uh, and clean. Uh, we've ran on issues, and no, I'm not going to tell you what my negative uh, ad is, but uh, uh, but you just get you have one. That's Mr. Right. Guerra wishes to disclose his, and I'll disclose mine, well. and we'll take it from there, uh, so everyone can know here. Uh, but I intend to go forward, uh, first day of early voting, and uh, uh, I intend to run a positive clean campaign up to today. 
All right, you're hearing from the candidates for Dago County District Attorney's race. We've got more of our special coverage right after this break. You're watching a special edition of Action 4 News Campaign 2014. Your voice, your vote. Political Candidates Forum. Declare your freedom of choice at Lax President's Day Sale. Save an extra 20% off the sale price for cash. Or no interest for 24 months with 15% off. Or no interest for 36 months with 10% off. Only at Lax. What do you see? The child of teen parents? A migrant who joined his family in the fields to help put food on the table? Or do you see a work ethic, the support of family, and the power of education? Fact is, I'm all of that. As district judge, both rich and poor came before me, and all were treated equally. But for too long, the current district attorney sees politics before people. That's not who we are. I'm Ricardo Rodriguez, and I'm fighting for the change we deserve. It's a stampede of savings right here, right now, at Spikes Ford on the Expressway in Mission. Ford is the best in Texas, and Spikes Ford is the best place to get your new Ford truck. The 2014 Ford Expedition is comfortable for all, with seating for eight or lots of cargo. And right now, during Truck Month, get this 2014 Expedition for only $41,835 and includes a two-year, no-charge maintenance plan. It's Truck Month, right here, right now, at Spikes Ford on the Expressway in Mission. Now at Lax President's Day Sale, the Monterey Bedroom Collection offers great style and storage space for just $29.99. This Restonic Pillow Top Mattress Set features gel-infused memory foam for just $8.99. Plus, save an extra 20% for cash at Lax. You're watching a special edition of Action 4 News Campaign 2014. Your voice, your vote. Political Candidates Forum. It was a fast hour, I'll tell you that right now, but we still have more to learn with the closing remarks. And up first is Renee Guerra, a minute and 30 for that. Again, I want to thank Channel 4 and the sponsors for this program and the people in the audience and those in watching us over the, uh, the, the media. Uh, I believe that my 31 years of experience and 33 years in law enforcement as an assistant and acting district attorney and 31 years as an elected gives me the experience that, that to do the job, like I've done honest, not for sale, trying to do the right thing when it was appropriate to do, directly through my office authority. Now, I've never been a person wanting to get the power. My job was to represent the state's interests in this county, protecting families, protecting victims, protecting our communities. I've given back millions of dollars to the business community to, to my hot check section and that job was taken away from the police department uh, because it was better handled at, at our office where we could file the, direct, the case directly with JPs in county courts of law. Now look at my experience, look at my background, my education and what have you and I know that you will see a clear choice in this race. My opponent has no prosecution, no trial experience. He was a judge but everything was served to him in a platter. He had to make a choice as to how to rule. He never had to do cases like we have to as prosecutors. I ask for your vote and your support. Thank you very much, and God bless America. Thank you. Ricardo Rodriguez, a minute and 30 for your closing remarks. Citizens of this county, Mr. Guerra keeps talking about experience. This race doesn't come down to experience. In the 13 years that I've been practicing law, five years as an attorney, I was in the courtroom, in and out, every day. I tried cases in the courtroom the last 13 years when I was practicing. The record's there. And as a judge, I presided over many cases, criminal, civil, family. The record's there. It wasn't handed on a platter. When you have to make decisions on capital murder cases and murder cases that are before the court, that are being tried before a jury, they're not being handed on a platter. Now, citizens of this county, you can ask Mr. Guerra, in the last 25 years, when has Mr. Guerra prosecuted a case himself? He's talked about that I have never prosecuted a case. The record's there at the county. You can go and look at it and find out when Mr. Guerra prosecuted or the last time tried a case in court as a prosecutor. This case is not, this, this campaign doesn't come down to experience. It comes down to what the citizens of this county have been wanting for a long time, a change. That's what the citizens of this county want. That's what I'm offering. I'm offering the citizens of the county a change come March 4th. 
I know that the citizens will vote for Ricardo Diaz for district attorney. Thank you very much. I want to thank both candidates for Dago County District Attorney and our incumbent Renee Guetta and challenger Ricardo Rodriguez. I want to give some final thoughts to my co-moderators right here. First with Steve Taylor. Well, as we said earlier, early voting is underway now. So for the voters out there that want to vote <laughs> early, if you do it now, you won't be influenced by all those negative attack ads that we might see in a week or so. Yeah, they were armed with the information right here on Action 4 News and KURV Radio and ValleyCentral.com. Sergio, your thoughts? Well, it's, it's good that voters have a choice in this race, and I would pray that voters in Hidalgo County have more choices in the future for all races uh, in all positions in the county. I'm sure we'll get a chance to speak with these candidates and other candidates in the coming days on 710 AM radio. Join us on News Talk 710 KURV on the morning news, 6 to 9, and uh, on the drive home 4 to 6, we'll take your calls for the candidates. And again, a reminder, early voting is through the end of the month, all leading up to the March 4th primaries in March. So uh, it is uh, going to be a very interesting race, to say the least, here in Hidalgo County for district attorney and also for the state district judge race, the 92nd that we had at the 5 o'clock hour. We appreciate all of our candidates coming out here to speak to our audience. And we certainly want to thank the wonderful folks here in Westlake, beautiful library. Thank you for having us at the Joe V. Sanchez Public Library. Also to our audience, let's give a round of applause. They were fantastic today. And it's always wonderful to see people participating on our network of social media sites, including Facebook and also on Twitter using the hashtag RGVVote. So we, again, we appreciate everybody for joining us tonight. We'll have a wrap-up of the both forums. So in case you missed the first one, we're going to have a wrap-up tonight on Action 4 News at 10. So until then, and on behalf of everybody here tonight, thanks so much for joining us. Have a great night. Hyundai isn't just about great gas mileage and America's best warranty. We're about compact cars, sports cars, SUVs, crossovers, and luxury vehicles. And get deals like a 2014 Elantra for $159 per month with 38 MPG and class-leading interior space. Then there's a 2014 Sonata for $179 per month with 190 horsepower and up to 35 MPG. Shop TiftonHyundai.com now and see why Hyundai is leaving the competition behind. I drive a Hyundai and I love it and so will you. Siempre Tipton Hyundai. I support René Guerra. 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 My mommy supports René Guerra. Right, mommy? Yes.